So if you want to see this, it's uh, going to be Snillo and Fraggy trying to get to the back line. It seems like it's just Snillo on the poke with the distraction. Here it is, Hammer and Anvil. Yeah, perfectly called, and there it is. It works out. Fraggy finds one, Super follows, but the healers are distracted, trying to deal with the pressure. They managed to convert that into a kill, Philadelphia Fusion. They are moving forward now. And Snillo, he's got that pulse ready to go. Could go for the style stick, but he's not going to need it. Already with the self-destruct of this guy will absolutely finish off that point as Moth will fall to that flame. And now that is a very quick first offense. Philadelphia, you know, I, yesterday going into it, I, I was looking at him. I'm like, they're not going to surprise anybody. They play the same thing on almost every map. They like Widow Tracer a lot. They don't vary up their comps. Then yesterday, they res right back up on the point. So a little bit. Uh, yeah, this is going to be it. Music. We'll hit the crescendo soon as we are running out of time for Philadelphia Fusion on the offense. Ten seconds left on the clock here. And they are managing to get a pretty valuable kill until Sinatra is there. Double kills himself, but he takes down Neptuno yet again along with Carpe. No res here for Philadelphia Fusion. It's just style points right there. It's fine if you die to your own bomb as long as you get two. That's a trick to the open, but he's being checked by Snillo right now, which I think would have helped them last on their defense if Snillo just kind of forced Sinatra to fight. They are in the room. Can they get kills? There's the throughput. Yeah, there we go. All three of them working together. Sinatra, super. They're just collapsing on that back line. Blue Box is the first casualty. Neptuno will follow. Super really keeping the pressure on. He dies, sure. But they are capping this first point now. San Francisco Shock. It's on Carpe. He's kind of dancing around here, hoping that somebody will be able to help out. But he's pinned in the corner, and Sinatra's chewing him to bits. He's trying to get back up there. Poco's going to come in and re-engage. This is not over by a long shot just yet. They do have bodies. That might be it, though, when you start losing your tank line. Now, the other tank will be the next target, and it is just Poco stalling a little bit on the point, but this one is all over for first point. Yeah, they need to be a bit careful here because they could get caught out in no man's land. Boombox and Neptuno, they were like running back, not yeah. quite sure. Are we going to make it back in time? Are we not? They're just so tough to kill. Uh, Fraggy was in the back line there. He got punished for it. They still haven't been able to find purchase. Both of the Winstons out of this fight. And Snillo's done a really good job this game of staying alive and checking Sinatra. Sinatra has had a really hard time getting in. No, there it is. to go. Yet again, Neptuno. He dies. Boombox right now getting punched in the face by Super, who refuses to give up. Super eventually finds that kill. This is the golden opportunity now for San Francisco Shock, making progress. Carpe gonna get onto this point to contest it while he's in biz. There's the EMP looking for the focus, but Architect, the point blank shots. Oh, that was brave to EMP right in front of O'Cree. Even if you get him and he doesn't have his flashbang, he can still shoot you very low there. Carpe had to go for a hero play as Sinatra. His way on. There's the challenge coming in from Super. Going to contest and not let that first tick go for free. It is a bit spicy though because you still have Poco and Carpe in the back line of his team. That's forcing him to give ground. Super has to pull back and there's the first tick picked up for Philadelphia Fusion in quick fashion. Architect with the headshot on Carpe, but we lose Moth for San Francisco Shock. Unless his DPS can come up big right now, this might be the moment for Philadelphia Fusion with a very quick A take. Uh, but Dante has been alive this whole time. He gets himself a couple of kills. This one's not over just yet, and they need to get back on this point. The Diva can't get their braggy falls, and now they try to get back on the points. Doesn't seem yet. Philadelphia will take that one rather easily. Just about now to get in here. He doesn't even need the Primal Rage. Gonna try to stall out this point, and he gets there on time. Oh, no. Sure. Died with Primal, too. Yeah, died with Primal. Definitely thought he was gonna be able to get it off there, but... Denied in the end, and that's gonna force Moth and Sleepy out of the open. They're both dead. Nevix forced off the point bodily. Takes a bullet to the face. Carpe's there to end him. Yeah, now when you've actually got the Valk up online here, and hopefully Boombox will be able to work his way up to a trance, or he'll just die outright. Dante Nevix once again getting into the back line, once again murdering those healers. Absolutely brutal. Neptuno has Valkyrie as well. They are gonna try to come back in with it, but it's another alt that was sitting in the pocket when it didn't need to be. And so far, it's been some coming back from spawn. And Neptuno gets caught in no man's land, can't ride on walls anymore, gun down. Denied, exactly. You're not gonna be able to get back into this fight. Architect gets overwhelmed by Fraggy point blank though. And the fight continues. They need to get bodies onto this point, Philadelphia Fusion, as there are already two ticks picked up for the San Francisco Shock. They should be fine. They resurrected that as well. And that is a hack Sombra. There's no oh, translocate available now. I don't know, this is an interesting 1v1, he wins it. There we go. Well played, Snillo. I think, yeah, Carpe's pretty good at aiming. So I've heard, well, Neptune is pretty good at dying too. Architect is so good at finding this guy. 
first off. Neptuno, man, he's really struggling. Yeah, which is rare. I mean, a, a lot of these plays that you're seeing um, from Philadelphia especially are uncharacteristic of what we generally see from them. Uh, Neptuno played so well last week and he excelled at staying alive. And so far, these first two maps, he just finds himself out of position, finds himself alone. It doesn't seem like the, the calls or the, the cohesion is here for Philadelphia right now. So close, ah, oh, Super with the body block. I love it, sick play. Poco not gonna be able to contest the point. They will get the second. Bumps their time up to two minutes, 45 seconds here. Now San Francisco Shock to push through for victory to the third point. Six pack of ults to work with as well. A basic ability used just to try to dodge the Widow Shot, the Guardian Angel to get out of those sight lines as well. Oh, there we go though, Dante, man. He just got so many great snacks, great snipes, great uh, hacks. Yeah. A lot of people got hacked there. Again, they tried the transcendence, might have been a bit too late. Everyone stayed in it, but still, despite that, San Francisco is cleaning up. And that's it. That is absolutely it. This Philadelphia team, they are fighting with fatigue or something right now, because this is not the team. 80 HP has to be dodging all the nades now, playing behind this, the middle of the shrine here. That's a couple of trades early on. Sinatra and Carpe will both fall. We'll see if the resurrections come in, but often when a tracer dies, it's in an unresable position. Yeah, it's way out in the open. Neptuno, though, might be able to squeak it through. He does take out EQO, but he loses Boombox in the meantime. Moth finds the res on Sinatra, and a lot of orange right now in the kill feed here for San Francisco Shock, but EQO getting brought back to life means that Sinatra's will end. Neptuno, desperate to get out of this. Yeah, still push back. Faces all day long. Dante, yet again, he does manage to trade one for one, and he'll take that. Boombox is out of it. It's one for one, and now they're trying to camp the site too. Neptuno gets launched away as well. Frag has got Primal Rage, but that's about it. And even though he's got a thousand HP, it is dropping rather quickly. He's at half health. Carpe also in a little bit of trouble. Has or another, the self destruct gonna force them off completely. But EQO, he's still in this, hanging on by a thread. Sleepy though, looking to find the headshot, but the trance is there. Boombox there to keep his teammates alive. A perfectly timed pulse bomb from Sinatra. Got him out of mech, and then you hit it on the d mechic Diva. Always gets Pilot Diva. You don't want to have to worry about a Pilot Diva. You've got more important targets to focus on the point. And San Francisco is one stage to be alive. There's no way that kill should have happened. Carpe sent to spawn unceremoniously. Carpe has been nearly silent today, like a cell phone in a movie theater. EQO. Once again, takes a breather. Still in this. Sinatra, though, relentless. And he gets the follow-up as well. The reverse coming through here from San Francisco. Shock, all the kills. And well, now they get the ones. He's probably the best Sombra in the league. I mean, you have a hard time finding someone who's better at this hero. Just as I say that caster curse, he will fall there to Fraggy, who finds where he translocated to. Sleepy falls soon after. San Francisco should be fine here to back out if they should so need it. If they can get one more kill from Sinatra, maybe they can stick in this one. But with Sinatra falling, that's enough. San Francisco should still be completely fine with this though they have 96%, only have to win. Really on the point, he will top po Poco back up again, but Dante now can get in here with the EMP. Perhaps that could lead to some kills for San Francisco Shock. They need him. EQO has already found Sinatra. EQO has been an absolute monster this match, even though he's died several times. There is Dante taking down EQO. EMP will soon follow. Blade comes out from EQO. It's gotta be a hero blade, gets one. Gets one, gets two. Sleepy and Moth both dead. EQO right now, delivering for Philadelphia Fusion. Finding those key kills that are really turn it around. They need to flip this point immediately, Philly. Oh, Neptuno just barely Valkyries to stay alive there as they will dispatch Nevix. And now can anyone get back? Oh, there it is, fist to face. He's going in, but he gets run down. Poco doesn't care. Runs him over, literally self-destruct out in the open. Moth is gone. And this is certainly going to be a tied up situation now as Philadelphia Fusion are picking them off one at a time. San Francisco Shock not going to be able to get back in here to contest. One to one on map three and Philadelphia Fusion finally showing up. But I think at that point you just try to go for it around the corner and hope that your trigger finger is back. A giant bomb from Sinatra. That is huge. Yet again, delivering the double pulse. Poco gets overwhelmed, but he's got the self-destruct again. If he wants it, although it doesn't look like no, it's going to be the camel. He shouldn't use it. They're very close to losing this point and they know that, but at 88%, I like it. EQO, no respect. Taking the fight to Sinatra. Making it a bit tough for him to find an angle here to get in on that back line. In the meantime, that gives time here for Carpe to go to work. There Carpe, two headshots once again. Turns up. It's a 6v4 right now. There is going to be a resurrection. Bring Sleepy back to life. But during that, Dante will also fall. Philadelphia's got designs on taking this back. And they're going to have a transcendence if they need it. Victory Tire trying to come out. Looking for Moth. Doesn't get it. Gets Nevix instead. Nevix is d -macked. 
destroyed by Ikio with the follow-up. Sinatra just dancing on the edge of this point. May not be enough, though. They're dying one after another. Here's San Francisco Shock. It is their time now. And it's on Moth. He's got the Lucio. Him and Dante are back onto this, but they get annihilated immediately. It's not going to be enough. Boombox going to have Transcendence if they even need it, and it does not look like they will to. Philadelphia brought it back from the brink. This is the beginning of a potential Transcendence into the mix. Dueling Transcends here. No kills coming through just yet. Fraggy will find Sleepy, though, once that Transcendence ends. But another hero play from Architect. Boombox down. Carpe down. Carpe down, but Fraggy finds Moth. That's a lot of healing out the window for San Francisco Shock. A golden opportunity now for Philadelphia Fusion as Boombox gets brought back into this fight. Only two players remain on this point to contest for San Francisco Shock and only 200 HP here on Super. It's not a whole lot. It's just both the tanks. They're trying to dance around it, but it is all for naught. The self-destruct comes in for good measure because you have no use saving it there. Team, they are just unaware of where these shots are coming from. That self destruct will find nothing, but Poco will get picked off because of it. Excellent. Oh man, Architect right now, he is just doing so much work for San Francisco Shock. It's unbelievable. Carpe finally ends his reign of terror, but Super is there to trade up against Fraggy. It's just Snillo right now. Snillo goes down, and it's just the Widow and Zen unable to touch the cart. That is why through it, Diva's unable to get the last couple of bullets that they need on it. Architect continues to crush. Just continues to capitalize the communication right now on point. Architect eventually gets found by Snillo. There's a high value target if ever there was one for Philly Fusion, but Sleepy yet again, the headshots. Sleepy's been doing work on that Zen, finding those body shots and the heads as well. And this is just gonna be San Francisco Shock overwhelming the defense, pushing forward to pick up the first point. I mean, we, we've talked so extra life as it were. The, the green mushroom pops up for him because he didn't have to use that res early. Should come out now though, because Architect just did go down. Boombox finally gets something. Sna go and snap the balls. Nicely done. Super not gonna hit his hook. Just trying to leap out of here. And well, decides to get the whole hog in. Fraggy caught out in the open. Not really gonna be able to just lock down that kill. And Fraggy will survive. But Nevix getting into the back. Two squish dead here for Philadelphia Fusion. And that res costs Neptuno his life. Yeah, and now Super on the Roadhog. It's even yet again. And they have both support ultimates to push with here. Boombox is going to have to transcend onto the point, keep them alive, but Snello falls, Pocos falls. This is desperation time, not even time for that! San Francisco shock the Philadelphia fusion, and they will take the series three to one. Three to one, it was looking like Philly were able to fight back. Check out our website at actionesports.com to stay up to date on the latest matches, highlights, and more from scores, match history, and specific game info, we've got you covered for all things Overwatch Esports. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out our channel for more action-packed content. Also, like and share this video, and click the subscribe button to join our notification squad. Thanks for watching.